Hey, happy Sunday morning to everybody. Um, you know what? Today's video, we're going to actually do our first comment call. Uh, I had two comments yesterday from a new subscriber, and I thought I would address them live. But before we get to that, you know, with all the craziness going on in the world, and our complete lack of or ability to control what's going on, you know, it can be very easy to let all this negativity, all the news, affect us emotionally, psychologically, you know, it all throws us off our game, and so I wanted to encourage you, if at all possible, to maybe stop watching the news as much, uh, you know, instead of watching the negativity, the violence, the problems, the horrors, whatever, instead, you need to focus on the positive. Uh, whatever will make you happiest is where you need to be living in. So rather than thinking about the constant shootings and wars and everything else, Go to your happy space, if you will, and you need to dwell in there. You need to do what you can to maintain your sanity and your mental clarity and your health. Because obviously there's just too much craziness in the world. So having said that, I wanted to actually give you a simple little exercise. And like all things, it does take a little bit of practice. But it's been proven to help calm you, lower your stress level. It will help you lower your blood pressure as well. So this is always good for, you know, if you're going somewhere and maybe you're a little nervous, you can try this technique in your car. But the technique is called box breathing. Now, far be it from you actually breathing into a box. That's not what this is. Box breathing is very simple. What you do is you inhale to a count of four. Now, obviously, you're counting in your head. You're not counting out loud. You inhale to a count of four through your nose. And you then hold it to a count of four. Do not exhale. Then you exhale to a count of four through your mouth Hold it for four seconds and repeat. So you have to do that a total of four times. Breathe in four seconds, hold four seconds. Exhale four seconds, hold four seconds. Four times total for a total of 16, basically. That's why they call it a box because it has the four sides. So I will give you a simple tip. When inhaling through your nose, do not inhale fast. Because that's where you're going to get tripped up. You know, you inhale fast. It's like, all right, and there's no way you can count to four in that, right? So when you inhale, do it slowly because you don't want to rush your count. As an example, so I will do this for you. So I'll stop talking for a moment while I'm breathing. See, as an example... I'm, you saw my chest expanding, uh, so you're not inhaling fast, right? So, just as a quick sample, I will do one complete, not the four, I'll just do one complete um, inhale, hold, exhale, hold, okay? So you can watch me, you can see exactly how I'm doing it. So, all right, let's begin. go that's a complete cycle you do that four times and I think with practice you'll find it is an effective technique and if you ever uh, deal with high blood pressure if you are nervous maybe you're going in for a job interview you want to lower cal calm your nerves before you go in there this is a very effective technique to use 
All right. Having said that, let us move on to the comment calls. Uh, I did get two comments yesterday, and I wanted to address them. So, um, we have a new subscriber. His name is Own Silver, and he uh, typed into a video. He says, I always pay cash for my silver, and I buy it from a local coin shop and always get a receipt. This way, I have no paper trail attached to me. The coin shop does not have my name or address. So, this is a privacy-focused comment, um, and I can respect that 100% because I do appreciate privacy. For example, several things that we could do, uh, not only for buying silver, he buys it from a local coin shop, um, and then that way he has no record of his purchase. He buys it with cash, he says. Um pays cash for a silver. So there are several ways that you can introduce privacy into your life. That's one method. Um, you can use an alternative operating system on like a Pixel device. For example, this is a Google Pixel 7. You can download Graphene OS, which is an alternative operating system to uh, Google. It still uses Android, but it's modified for privacy. It has been entirely de-Googled. There is no Google services on Graphene OS. You can do more research on that if you so choose. Um, you can start using Linux on your laptop. Uh, that will help get rid of a lot of trackers and other malicious software. Uh, it could help potentially cut down on viruses because I don't believe there's actually too many viruses that target the Linux operating system. But these little things that you can do, these little actions that can help you maintain privacy in an unprivate world. And so for that, that's a, that's a helpful tip. Pay cash for your silver, buy it from a local coin shop, and that way there's no record of you having bought it. Um, now, if you choose to buy online, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, you might actually even get better prices. Who knows? But in any case, I uh, wholeheartedly agree. Try to, try to keep as much privacy in your life as possible. All right. His next comment, uh, this one was also by Own Silver. Uh, and this one, I believe, was on the... Um, cash is trash video that I did here a few days ago. He says, what I tell children, stay out of debt as much as you can. If you do use debt, pay it off as fast as you can. Save up and pay cash. My favorite metal is pre-1965 U.S. coins, 90%. We grow a garden and preserve a lot of what we grow. We eat at home, very old-fashioned. We brew our own coffee, we drive old vehicles. My truck is 23 years old. My wife's car is 17 years old. When we shop, we always use cash, never use our cards. They are for emergencies. If we do use our card, we pay it off within 30 days. Last time we paid any interest was in 2009. So that's a lot of information. Let's unpack it a little bit at a time here. So, um, telling your children to stay out of debt. Not only your children, but yourself as well, right? Um, clearly, going in debt is not a good thing. I will actually be discussing my own personal issues with debt in a future video, so please keep that in mind. Uh, but, yeah, absolutely, they do not teach anybody, regardless of grade, they don't seem to teach anybody financial wisdom. Uh, in today's day and age in school, you know, I think even like how to balance a checkbook, for example, um, you do want to pay off debt as quickly as possible. There are two methods of doing this, especially if you have multiple forms of debt. There is the snowball method, which I will briefly describe. So let's say you have uh, five different uh, debts, maybe credit cards, cars, whatever they might be, the five different uh, sources of your debt. The snowball method would say, 
Start with the smallest balance debt first. You can take that debt, pay as much money into it as possible, pay it down as quickly as possible. When that debt is paid off, now you take that money that you freed up and apply it to the next largest debt, and then the next largest debt, so on and so forth until all of your debt is completely paid off. The other option is paying down the debt with the highest interest rate first, regardless of the balance. So, uh, you, for example, I have the mortgage on my home is at 5.75%, but my car is 12.9%. So, in that scenario, I would end up trying to pay off my car first, then my house second. Ironically, the car obviously has a lower balance of debt than the house does. So in that sense, it actually makes it, it the confluence of it all makes sense. Uh, I personally am uh, shoveling as much money into my car payment as possible. Uh, my current car payment is 608 a month and I'm paying more like 2,500 to 3,000 a month currently. Um, I want to try to get it paid off within one year, and then that money that I now have freed up, then I can apply it to other purposes. Um, so save up and pay cash. So I think saving is okay to a point. Uh, obviously, you want to save anywhere from three to six months of fluid cash in case of an emergency. Maybe you get fired or lose your job or whatever. They, the business goes out of business or wherever you work. So you want that three to six months of savings on hand, fluid. And I mentioned in a previous video that instead of keeping it in cash, you could keep it in silver because that's an inflation hedge. And it's still relatively fluid in the sense that you could take it to a coin shop and go ahead and sell it if you needed to in an emergency. Uh, so that's, it's one of those things. Do you keep the money in the bank account? Do you keep it, uh, do you keep it stored in the form of silver or possibly gold? Um, but yeah, to a limit. If you have too much in savings, you're actually losing money every year due to inflation. So I don't recommend keeping more than necessary you need to put that money to work. Invest it. Um, his favorite metal is pre-1965 U.S. coins, 90%. Uh, that is what is referred to as junk silver, which I did previously mention. Uh, junk silver is readily available. It is relatively inexpensive, and it is very fluid. You can you can buy it easily. You can sell it easily. Uh, so I totally 100% agree with her. Um, we grow a garden. Uh, if you recall, in a short that I did the other day, I showed you my wife's garden out in the backyard, uh, which now is pretty much dead for the season. And we could definitely afford to expand it. I could end up taking over the entire backyard out there um, for sure. Uh, preserving a lot of what we grow. Now, that is a unique skill to know. Uh, it is one I have not yet begun to learn, but as you know, if you eat everything that you grow during the summer, you have nothing for the winter. You starve to death by preserving your food, strawberries, for example, um, beans, whatever you want to save, but you need to grow a huge surplus of food. So that way in the wintertime, you have that supply still going on and then you can read rejuvenated at the beginning of next year when you start growing your garden again. Eating at home. Uh, absolutely, it is the quickest way to save money instead of eating out all the time. Having said that, I don't say... Uh, you can definitely take your wife out on the occasional date, your girlfriend out on the occasional date. It just shouldn't be a every night sort of thing. And also, you still need to watch your budget even then. You know, it's a quick way to uh, blow out your budget by eating out all the time. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, brewing our own coffee. Now, that would be a, uh, I assume what he means by that is he buys bags of beans and then grinds them himself. 
I personally, as a coffee drinker, I'm a huge guy. I love iced coffee, huge fan of it. It is definitely something I would like to get into. Um, currently, I'm just doing the Keurig thing. Um, on the other hand, good news for me um, is I actually get all of my Keurig cups for free. So I haven't had to buy coffee in like a long, long time. Um, in any case, uh, yeah, uh, a huge fan of iced coffee. Drive old vehicles. Uh, now, there is absolutely nothing wrong with driving an older vehicle. The less electronics and computerization it has, the better as far as I'm concerned. Now, I personally speaking, uh, I did buy a 2023 Subaru Impreza in uh, May of this year. I needed that Impreza because I needed, let's just say, a reliable car for the job I was doing, which I drive 500 miles a night, so I need to have reliability. Um, in my particular case, because I'm driving in the winter, I also got the Subaru for the all-wheel drive. So, but what he's doing, he's got a he's got a truck that's 23 years uh, old. His wife's car is 17 years old, and I tell you what, this own silver guy is probably making some good money. He 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 doesn't have any expenditures on these things. You know, the occasional oil change and maybe a uh, you know alternator here or there or whatever. But um, when he shops, he always uses cash. Never uses the cards. Um, again, that goes back to the privacy thing. Uh, and I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that. I personally, for better or for worse, um, I never have cash on me. I'm I'm 100% a card user. Um, it's yeah. I I just pretty much live off of my uh, Visa card at, at, because I get paid every other week, so I use my Visa card for literally everything. And then every time I get paid, I immediately pay off the bill in full. So that's just the way I do it. It's, it, it just, for me, with what I'm doing in my uh, current lifestyle, I guess, it's just the, it's just the way I do it. It's, it's, it's not better or worse than anybody else. Uh, it's just easy for me. Um, he says if we pay our card, or if, we, if he does use the card, they pay it off within 30 days. Absolutely 100%. You got to get that card paid off immediately. Do not let the interest accumulate. Man, I'll tell you what, uh, it is, uh, debt is a nightmare. Yeah. Uh, so I actually, like I just got done saying, I use my Visa card for everything. I get paid twice a month. So basically I'm paying off my credit card in full two times every month. Um, Last time he paid any interest was in 2009. That is commendable. And this guy owns silver. Uh, thank you for your comments. Uh, much appreciated. Keep them coming. If you have not yet left a comment, please do. I will answer and discuss every single one of your comments in a comment call. Uh, the more I get, the more comment calls I make. So having said that, Everybody, it is Sunday morning. Unfortunately, it is it's kind of cloudy outside. Uh, it was beautiful and sunny when I woke up. But long story short, live your best life. Uh, be big enough for yourself and your family. If you have any comments, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to leave them. I will directly respond to every single one. So, Having said that, I wish all of you a happy weekend. There is a, another video getting popped up here uh, on uh, my channel um, where I take you on a drive. That may or may not already be posted at the present time it was uploading. I may end up doing two um, shorter videos today in the afternoon, but Having said that, I wish you an awesome rest of your weekend, and I look forward to hearing from you. I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.